I have some bad news about Terra Classic, but this bad news may turn into good news depending on how you guys are going to manage this. Before diving in deeper, check out the private Discord server, guys. It's a Patreon link below in the description. It's free for the rest of October and only like 10 bucks after. Look at all the winning trades. Green are winning, red are losing, and we trade live on a daily basis with nearly 15 different analysts, stocks, options, and crypto. Please check it out. It's dirt cheap. It's not like 100 bucks. It's like 10 bucks. All right. Let's talk about Terra Classic. Because so far, Luna here, it's performing decently. I'm not really complaining. We're getting an inflow of new holders and a lot of individuals. But remember what happened during the Binance fiasco back a week ago, I think? Binance was like, yeah, we're making the burns optional. When you make the burns optional, nobody's going to burn it. Now, Binance made the burns mandatory because they got Binance trending on Twitter. Binance was like, oh, crap. You know, we really angered off a lot of the Terra Classic guys, and now social media is against us. Now they made a burns mandatory, and Binance yesterday just burned nearly $2 million worth of Terra Classic. $2 million is a big deal, considering the coin is at the low $1 billion market cap range. So that's a lot of tokens being destroyed. If you check out a live Terra Classic burner, you already see a lot of coins being burned. And a good chunk of it, I say maybe 45, 50% are from Binance alone. So that's a big deal. Now, KuCoin is like, okay, we're not really going to be burning tokens, even though we said it before. They kind of retracted their deal. Now, people on Twitter are getting pretty frustrated. They're like, KuCoin promised us a burn, especially how KuCoin is the second biggest exchange holding Terra Classic tokens. Now, if you can have Binance and KuCoin, the number one and number two exchanges, burning Terra Classic tokens, you're probably looking at a grand slam home run here. You're probably looking at a lot of tokens being destroyed on a daily basis. That's a really, really good deal. But right now, what a lot of people are really frustrated is a lot of these exchanges, especially guys like KuCoin, Gate.io, even Binance before, all said they're doing a 1.2% burn, and then eventually they all retracted it. It's such a big bummer that Terra Classic holders actually have to get out of the way for a lot of these exchanges just to get a 1.2% burn, even though they were promised a 1.2% burn several weeks ago. So that's kind of crappy. Let's see what happens, okay? If a lot of Terra Classic holders get really frustrated and are boycotting KuCoin and are moving their coins to Binance, KuCoin may sense something is up because this is the number one coin right now. you got to appeal to the number one coin holders. Because if you want new holders, you want to inflow money into your exchange, that way you can make more money, it's to appeal to the holders. And the only way to do it is to make Terra Classic have a 1.2% burn. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.